Welcome to video one of Create Your Ultimate Membership Area and to start with we're going to be talking about the concept of your membership site. This sounds really silly. Of course we're going to start with the idea you've got, but there's a little bit of thought that you need to put into this before you get too far. There are two main components we're going to think about here when we're talking about your idea for a membership site. The first is what you actually want your membership site to do. So what is it that you're going to offer through your membership site that people are going to join for? Is it something very specific, one solution to one answer, and they're going to join to get maybe continued support? Is it you're going to cover a slightly broader area and they're going to join to get continued new content? Is it you're going to cover a really broad area and they're going to join to get access to information across all of these topics and continued new content? Is there no continued new content and they're going to get access to a whole range of information and support, but nothing new? I really want you to think about what it is you thought you would offer. So if you're offering healthy eating, for example, are they just going to get access to a, a database of recipes that already exist? Are there going to be new recipes? Are there going to be um, membership only things that happen inside the site that aren't recipes? Are there going to be support for them? All these sorts of concepts. Realistically, I've seen these work in, in just about any way. I've seen memberships work from when they're offered the most specific niche related answer to one thing and they've got a great membership site around that, just that one teeny tiny tiny little thing. And I've seen membership sites work incredibly successfully where they've offered a whole smorgasbord of stuff from, from left to right, from A to Z, everything in between over a period of years, that just this huge buffet worth of information. Now I run a membership site, as you would expect, uh, it's called the Get Real Business Academy, and it's one of those broader aspect ones. So we have a whole range of content in there from how to build courses and membership sites to how to run a business successfully. We've got financing, cash flow, and, and productivity, and, and all the things it takes to, to sell online and offline. Um, so it's really broad, and they get continuing new content. They get new content once a month, every single month. New aspects go in, new training bundles go in. Plus, then they get support. They get live calls and, and Q&A sessions and a private group and all that sort of stuff. So I want you, part one, to think really carefully about what you want to offer in your membership site. Is it narrow? Is it broad? Is it continuing? Is it set content? Like, just make a decision. Second part of this, your idea, is I want you to think about who you're selling to. Now you've heard this a million times and I've spoken about this lots when I talk about creating courses because you really need to think about your target market. Again, when you're building a membership site, it's really important to think about who you're selling it to and it's important to think about it before you build the site because are they tech savvy? If they're not, perhaps A, a membership site is not the best option for you or if it is, you want to keep it really, really simple. It's not about bells and whistles, it's about making it functional for them so they can navigate around it really easily. They don't want the fancy stuff, they just want to be able to use it. Are they a beginner in the area that you're trying to share your information in or are they more advanced? That's going to make a difference between the kind of content you put in. Are they just desperate to solve one problem straight away or have they got an ongoing huge quantity of problems that keep coming up? Like all of these questions will help you decide the kind of content you're going to put into your site and they're going to help you decide things like as we go through, they're going to help you decide pricing and they're going to help you decide the tech you use. So these are things I need you to work out right at the beginning. So there's two things you're going to think about is one, what is the idea? What are you going to provide? What are you going to do? And two, who is it for? And once you've got those two nailed in huge detail, then we can move on to start to think about what you're going to do with this membership site, the content you're going to put in and how you're going to host it and all that sort of stuff. So that's it for video one. But as always, I will see you in the next video.